Okay, now we're going to go through the hookup of a Fataba receiver in external receiver mode. Now, in this case, I've got an S bus receiver, so I would actually just use an S bus hookup. But uh, for just reasons of explanation, we're going to use it uh, as an external receiver hookup. The way you connect an external receiver to the TG Multi is through two four pin plugs. You're going to plug into port C and port D and plug these in into their matching ports on the receiver. Uh, just for explanation, your first plug is throttle, your next plug is aileron, next plug is elevator, then rudder, then gear, aux 1, aux 2, and aux 3. Now that's actually a JR uh, or, uh, arrangement, it matches a JR receiver exactly. Fataba it works with and other receivers it works with fine too, you just need to identify which port you're going to plug into. One easy way that I do on the Fataba to identify it, I simply go into my sub trims and see which channel each control is matched to. So channel 1 is aileron, 2 is elevator, 3 is throttle, 4 is rudder. So I just need to match my throttle pin to my channel 3, my aileron pin to my channel 1. Well, that's what we'll do right now, just go through and do the rest of them. So we'll start with my four pin plug. These are separated just for example here to make it easier to understand. Plug it into port C. First plug is throttle, which on this model is channel three on the receiver. Make sure your signal wire is on top with the Fataba receiver. Channel three, my next channel is aileron, which on this receiver is channel one. My next channel is elevator which on this one is channel 2 next channel is rudder which on this one is channel 4 then we do the second 4 pin plug plug into port D starting with this bottom pin which in this case is brown that goes to your uh, gear gear channel uh, which on a Fataba is also listed as gyro, goes to my channel 5. Then we have your uh, next plug, which is pitch, which on this receiver is channel 6. Then we have your aux 2, or on a Fataba it's often called aux 7. In this case is on channel 7. Now my final aux I'm not going to plug in because I'm simply not needing it. I don't use it. Now to connect between your receiver and your DG Multi Power, you need to use a male-to-male -male plug. In this case, I'm going to plug it into channel, uh, the final channel on the receiver. Then I'm going to plug it into port 1 on the TG Multi, which is both a power port and for S bus or X bus. Then I need to plug in my ESC, which is also my power through my BEC. Plug that into your, your port 2. Once all those are hooked up, your receiver and TG Multi are hooked up, your ESC is hooked up, and your power between your receiver and TG Multi are hooked up, you need to hook up your servos for your rotors. Those are for ports 3, 4, 5, and 6. Port 3 is your front left rotor. Port 4 is your back left rotor. Port 5 is your back right rotor. Port 6 is your front right rotor. So you take the servo from your front left rotor, plug it into port 3. Take your servo from your back left rotor, plug it into port 4. Take your servo from your back right rotor, plug it into port 5. And then you take your servo from your front right rotor, plug it into port 6. So we now have everything hooked up. External receiver setup is hooked up. All your rotor servos are hooked up. Your BEC and ESC is hooked up here. And then your power between your receiver and your TG Multi are here. Now, antennas for your receiver, I put those underneath the canopy. And I'll double stick tape this one antenna to the bottom on this side. And I'll double stick tape the other antenna to the bottom on the other side and just push it under the canopy once they're double stick taped. That'll keep your receiver underneath on each side of the body and give you good signal strength. Then you just bundle your wires, strap it up, and you're done.